Hi, I'm Sarah from Heirloom Creations, and recently we hosted an Anita Good Design workshop at our store, where those of you who had embroidery machines or wanted to try out an embroidery machine before you bought one, got to make one of these zippered bags. Now, this is a project called a project in the hoop. That means we've completed this bag on the embroidery machine. Now, isn't this great? The zipper, the outside of the bag, all sewn together, and it really is neat. So much fabric, so little time. This entire collection of designs are from the Blackboard Bag Collection of Anita Good Design. Now, we also took these designs because they're great sewing inspirational sayings and stitched them out on the quilt behind me, just on fabric and kind of put it together like a t-shirt quilt. You should check out our t-shirt quilt classes that we have offered at the store if that might be something on your to-do list coming up soon. But these are wonderful to do. They're really kind of quick because this design is stitched with one color. So once you set it up, you get the zip placed and everything you can kind of let it go and then at the very end you put the back on and let it stitch and I'm going to show you next how we did this on the embroidery machine. Start off by hooping up a piece of tearaway stabilizer. The first couple lines stitched are just placement lines. The most important part is where we put the zipper. It needs to be right side up. Have the tab at the side you want to zip from. P tape it down on both ends. That center zipper needs to be lined up with one of the lines that was stitched. That's the placement line. Usually you want to match the thread. I went ahead and used a darker thread so you can see where it was actually stitching. You need a top and a lower part for the bag. Place it right side down, even with the zipper, and then flip it to the side to be tacked down to the stabilizer and held in place. Next, you're going to repeat at the top with the shorter piece, and then just let it stitch and flip. So right side down first, and then flip it out. Now normally I use some uh, blue painter's tape, but could I find it for this video? No. So I just use some regular masking tape. Next we're just going to thread up with your color of choice for the whole entire front design. Now that chalkboard look is very popular right now, so norm normally done in white thread, but have some fun with pink or orange. Now see that long length of thread? It is going to get stitched down and over. I recommend clipping that before it gets all the way through this section. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to pull out after it's done all this heavy stitching. It is amazing how many colors you can do. This is just black felt. And so you can have some fun. Change up the background. Change up your colors. This is just so neat. And with so many designs that have come on this Anita Good Design blackboard bag collection, you can put them on a tote bag, on a sweatshirt. You can really have some fun with this. Notice I'm changing to a black bobbin. The black bobbin is for one of two things. I have black thread now in my needle and it stitches out the last little bit of detail for the design. So if you have used a red felt, stitch that in red because that's kind of like the show through from the background that's going to come through. Now the black thread is also there for one other thing. It's when it goes to sew the construction seam next. But before we do anything, make sure you unzip that zipper or else you won't be able to get in your bag. That little loop is optional. You can tape that down and then when you turn the bag, you'll have a little extra um, loop to hold on to. Remove everything from the hoop, trim it down to uh, about a half inch seam allowance, and clip the corners. You're going to need to clip the stabilizer away from the zipper so you can get into the zipper and turn it out and you're ready to go.